Hi, it's Brooke Hoover. I'm a guitar teacher in Cedar Rapids, and uh, it's Thursday, so let's do some chord tone soloing. Um, I love this stuff because it just sounds great. I was doing it before I knew it had a name, but basically uh, you're going to follow the notes in a chord progression. And uh, usually when I demonstrate this, I like to stay in the key of A. I've got some, a lot of videos showing uh, this position. So here's my idea. We have a phrase and on A. So that's just your good old E, G, A, C, C, A. Seven, five, seven, five, five, seven on the fourth or fifth, fourth, and third strings. I like to slide into that first note. So that sounds like we're going for an A chord. So now, if we plan ahead, we're going for a D. So I land on a D, which is the root of a D chord. Back to A. Let's do the D again. C, C, D. Back to A. When we go for the E, we can land on an E. Maybe down to D. to E and back to A. So you basically, when if you're just getting used to this, be sure to land on a root for, for the, the first few sessions or whatever, but eventually you start landing on the major third. Or get that major third in there. How about the third of A is C sharp, which is in the chord chord tone soloing, the third interval, the third note in the A major scale. So you can kind of bounce around from that third to the root. The third of D is F sharp. F sharp is second string, seventh fret. To the third of A. You start getting your ear tuned to that. The third of E. The third of D. The third of A. The third of E. Yeah, the third of E is G sharp. Which is a cool note, it's right underneath the A. So it sounds, you know, if you're trying to play that note sounds a little peculiar until you understand that's the third of the E chord, the G sharp, which uh, has some tension in it because it's a half step under the root of A, you kind of want to bring it back to the A. So just come up with a basic riff, you know. So you can land on the root or the third of the chord. So you might want to review A major is A, C sharp, and E. That's your root third and fifth. You can also land on the fifth. Well, let's not worry about that right now, but for the D, the root third and fifth is D, F sharp, and A. Uh, so those are good notes to land on on E. Our chord tone notes are uh, E, G sharp, and B. 
So be aware of those notes, land on those at the end of a phrase, and it will sound like you, you understand the chord progression, which is just a, a big step up from running up and down the scale. And that's why we do this. All right, that's chord tone soloing. If you like that topic, I would recommend a book called Chord Tone Soloing by Barrett Tagliarino. Um, let me know if you need help finding the book. I can help you find a copy. The first couple of chapters are super fun. It gets a lot more complex as the book goes on, but it's uh, just an excellent course and laid out really well. It's very friendly for uh, an intermediate guitar player or a beginner. All right. And later it gets really difficult, but there's plenty of good stuff in there. All right. I'm Brooke Hoover, and uh, thanks for checking out the video. I'll be around. Uh, we'll do chord tone soloing on Thursdays. So see you next Thursday. Thanks.